Okay, this is the RA Penfold Fuzz Unit on the breadboard here. And uh, this circuit was published, I believe, back in 1994 um, in RA Penfold's book uh, entitled Music Projects. Um, it's a fuzz with a VCA, uh, voltage controlled amplifier, that uh, is, the idea is to add some dynamics to a clipping style fuzz. Um, I've built it up here on the breadboard just as it is in the schematic except I've added this bypass switch to be able to bypass the VCA so we can hear the difference between the fuzz on its own and the fuzz going through the VCA. Okay, so right now let's start with the fuzz on its own. I'm playing soft. And now I'll play harder. Okay, this is, a, this is a clipping style fuzz. That's why you don't hear a lot of volume difference between when I'm playing soft and when I'm playing hard. Now I'll turn on the VCA and we'll go through the VCA. I'll start off playing soft and then I'll play harder. So you can hear a lot of volume difference, uh, and that's the idea. That's what this circuit is uh, supposed to do, um, and it seems to do. Um, the controls here, just quickly uh, run through. This is the fuzz pot. Um, let me turn the VCA off. You can hear how that controls the fuzz. This other control over here, let me turn the VCA back on. This is the sensitivity that controls the envelope. If you turn it all the way down, you get nothing. Um, as you turn it up, you gr get gradually more signal. All the way up. That's all the way up. basically just find a good compromise between uh, how much sustain you have and then how much VCA action you get with that sensitivity control. And that's the stock uh, circuit right there, the, the uh, Penfold fuzz unit. And now, for fun, uh, I made a few changes to the circuit and uh, for starters what I did is I took the fuzz out. So, well, this, I left this, I left it there, but it's just disconnected. This knob doesn't do anything. Um, but I took the fuzz out, basically put in a, uh, a send and a return. So an effects loop that I can plug an external pedal into instead of the fuzz. Um, and what I've got plugged into the effects loop is a noisy ring modulator um, that has a lot of carrier, carrier bleed through when you're not playing. Um, I'll show you what that sounds like in a second. One other mod is um, I added this volume knob at the output of the VCA because the, the, uh, the volume action, uh, the voltage controlled amplifier, the volume action is pretty dramatic. And um, so I added this volume at the output of the VCA so that I can match the level of when it's going through the VCA compared to when it's not going through the VCA, just to get, get the levels matched and to be able to uh, hear a difference without level and volume being an issue. So let me turn on the ring modulator. And that whining is the carrier bleed through. That's the, uh, the carrier frequency. Now 
Okay. That frequency is not too terribly annoying. So this is just the ring modulator pedal uh, bypassing the VCA, basically on its own. Okay, now I'm going to send it through the VCA. Okay. Only a low level signal going through. It's below the threshold, so you don't hear the carrier. And the sensitivity knob now over here acts to basically set the amount of uh, decay that you get uh, when you stop playing. So it'll. at a low setting. That's the decay and you get basically a noise gate action. Um, if I turn the sensitivity control up, you basically just get a little more sustain and it rings out a little bit longer until the, until the VCA shuts off and it cuts off that noise. That's at the, with the, de, the sensitivity at max, that's the, the max decay setting that you get. And just for reference again, I'm, I'll turn off the VCA and bypass it. The carrier frequency. Is still there. Turn the VCA on. So the circuit, uh, if you add an external effects loop to it, it acts as a pretty nice noise gate as well. So, while we've got the noise gate thing going on, I'm going to try one more thing just for fun, and uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I've got a drum machine and an Atari Punk console. Uh, here's what the drum machine sounds like. Okay, so there's a bunch of different sounds on the drum machine. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the drum machine and I'm going to plug the drum machine into the, uh, the trigger side, the trigger input, um, that'll trigger the VCA. And I'm going to plug the Atari Punk console into the input. Um, so just so you can hear it, here's the Atari Punk console. Just twiddling the knobs. Okay, so that's that. That's the uh, the punk console, and um, so now let's uh, put her through the VCA and play the drum machine, and we'll see what happens. Okay, punk console on. Let's find a nice sound. Uh, that's pretty annoying. Okay. All right, VCA's on and playing the drums. That's, that's interesting. It do, you do get a teeny bit of the drum sound coming through. I don't know if that comes through in the audio with this video, but if I play the three tom sounds, high, medium, low, kind of neat. If I play a cymbal crash, it's a little bit long. If I play like a uh, tambourine sound or something, it's a lot shorter. And I can twiddle knobs and play the drum machine, too. Okay. 
So that's that. That's uh, how the gate action works. You can have all kinds of fun with that all day long, but I'm not going to keep going for now. Um, but anyhow, I think it's a pretty cool circuit um, and uh, hope you like it too.